Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with trailer number two. I just did Rick and Morty season four trailer for the second half of season four. Now I'm jumping into Train to Busan part two, titled Peninsula. I knew this was coming, but I didn't know it was coming this soon, and I didn't know it was called Peninsula. So when I saw this flash last night, I didn't even think to react to it. It came out really late last night, I think like 10, 11 o'clock. I saw it pop up on my feed, didn't know what it was, went to sleep, woke up this morning. Everyone's like, do you see the trailer for Train to Busan 2? Titled Peninsula. Great movie. One of the best zombie apocalypse movies I've seen of recent time, maybe ever. The whole thing takes place on a train. Action-packed, insanity, twist endings. I gotta rewatch it again. I've only seen it one time, and I remember it being magnificent. I remember the ending having a clever twist. I do remember the twist, so I'm not going to say it in case no one's seen it, but it definitely led into what could lead to many more sequels. It's like a Walking Dead. The world is over and there's a zombie apocalypse, so you could go with this forever. Zombieland just came out with a sequel. I thought it was pretty good. A little cheesy, a little dumbed down, but still entertaining, I guess. I'm a huge fan of zombie movies, love apocalyptic movies, love national disaster type movies. I don't look for misery and pain. I just like to see where the world could go if shit goes wrong. So we're just going to jump in. I'm really curious to see where they go with this. If there's like a time jump, if we have some of the same characters, it's got to have some of the same characters. And my guess is it's going to jump like five years, maybe not five years, but it's got to have some of the same people. Otherwise, why even make a sequel? So like I said, I got to recap myself, but people did survive at the end of the first one. If you guys are interested, today's the day I do all my full unedited reactions for Patreon. Six or seven different shows, summer exclusive. Link at the end if you're interested. If not, we're just going to jump in. This is the trailer for Train to Busan 2 Peninsula. I remember it looked really good, too. Special effects, practical, great stuff. Four years. I said maybe five years. That's a lot of money. All right, guys, it was a teaser trailer, it said. A minute, 30 seconds long. Looks awesome. Very little talking. I love the way the first one was shot. Very fast zombies. The camera shots were very fast, but not like choppy. Like sometimes in the, the Bourne movies, for instance, Jason Bourne, the first one specifically, very, very quick camera shots. And it's almost like gets you motion sickness. These were similar, but I feel like they're steady enough where you could follow the fights in the scenes. The main guy they kept showing, I'm pretty sure was in the first one, but I see so many like martial arts movies and stuff like that. I'm a big fan of martial arts movies, foreign movies. So I'm not sure if I just recognize him from something else. He's definitely a famous actor, but I'm not sure if he was in Train to Busan. I'm assuming he was because they was like he seemed to be the focus. So I'm assuming he was the guy from the first one. If not, he's in other martial arts action foreign films. The girl also looked familiar. I'm assuming she was from the first one. Like I said, I saw this when it first came out. I've only seen it once and I did not expect there to be a sequel. So I really didn't like pick up and remember the characters, but looks awesome. We're having like a underground fight club type of thing with people fighting zombies. The zombies ran out in like a blob of stuff, almost like they were all interconnected. I'm assuming that was either just camera angles looking weird, or maybe they're sewing zombies together and making giant creature type things. 
I also said it might go as far as five-year time jump, but more likely a couple years. It said four years later. So it's right in the middle of what I thought, which makes a whole lot of sense. And it's called Peninsula. So they must have took the train to the end of wherever they are. And they're on a peninsula type island. There were ridiculous amounts of hordes outside of whatever the hell they're trapped inside. Action packed, looks insane, really curious. But like I said, this is the teaser. I don't think they even gave us a date, but we probably got some time, especially with everything going on right now in the world. Hope everyone's being safe, but I figured I'd jump on these two trailers. It's the first two trailers that interest me in almost a month. So we're probably not going to have movie theaters open for a month or so. I don't know how they're going to handle these, but Rick and Morty's on TV and I just reacted to that trailer. So if you guys want, check that out. If you want full reactions of every show I do and bonus shows as well, link for Patreon in front of me somewhere. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.